that was this, sphagnum moss or peat moss. And that whole explosion took place in a millisecond. Botanist Joan Edwards and physicist Dwight Whitaker are using high-speed cameras to document the secretly speedy life of plants. In the case of fast movements, it almost all deals with dispersal of some kind, whether it's dispersal of gametes or whether it's dispersal of spores. It turns out that fast plants aren't as uncommon as you'd think. I never realized that any of them were fast. And to give you a sense of just how fast we're talking, here's an explosion that you're familiar with. Whitaker says that in the time it takes one kernel of popcorn to pop open, you could have 20,000 openings of a sphagnum moss capsule. That really puts it in perspective of just how fast and sudden this explosion is. Edwards and Whitaker have described the motions of several fast plants, but their latest paper, published in Science, presents the story of peat moss. Peat moss is this amazing moss. It belongs to the moss group, of course. They have no vascular system, so no xylem and phloem, not, no real structural material to allow them to grow tall. So it's got to figure out a way to get its spores high into the air where it can get carried by wind. Most of the time it reproduces by just dominating some ecosystem. But if it wants to move to some other bog far away, it needs to spread its spores. And it creates this capsule. And this capsule is full of spores and water to begin with. And then what we find is that on a hot, dry day, and that, that's actually usually the days it happens on, in the middle of the summer it waits to do this, it starts to dehydrate. I mean, the cells shrink laterally but not vertically so that you go from a sphere to a cylinder. And when it does that, when it changes shape like that, what's happened is it squeezed the air inside of the cylinder. And now it's this sort of pressure vessel. It's about the pressure that's in some semi-truck tires. You can guess what happens next. So it's sort of like a champagne cork flying off. Out comes a puff of air traveling at 60 miles per hour. It's a very special puff of air. It's a very high speed smoke ring. Um, it's a little bit messier smoke ring than, than someone would blow. That's because it's going so fast. The technical term is a turbulent vortex ring. And what's special about these rings is that they can travel great distances without breaking up. Once the air flows in this circular pattern, there's not much that can stop the air from flowing. So the spores ride the ring 10 centimeters up, and that's quite a distance if you're a spore. Yes, yeah, so they're launching these spores to 10,000 times their height. And then they hitch a ride on the breeze to a new location. The spore alone, if it lands in the right habitat, it can grow into a whole new moss plant. It's procreation by explosion. Hard to imagine. That would probably make us less compelled to have babies, yeah. <laughs> So how did you get the moss to explode on cue? Since it's the hot, dry air that drives these explosions, as soon as we turned on the really bright lights that you need to film at these high speeds, it pretty much would explode within the next second or two. Like lights, camera, action. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.